In this demonstration, we will install Microsoft Windows Server 2022 evaluation copy on VMware Workstation Pro Type 2 hypervisor. If you don't know what is a Type 2 hypervisor, I will leave a link in the description for a technical details video on hypervisors. The first thing you need to do is you need to go and find a copy of Windows Server 2022. Currently, Microsoft allow you to download an evaluation copy through their website. You go to the Microsoft website and to this link, which I will leave in the description, and you can pick a version of the ISO file that you would like to download. I will be installing the United States English ISO version 64-bit version, and I have already downloaded it. And if you haven't, you can click on it and it will get you to that file. So once you have this file, you can now go ahead and start installing on your VMware workstation. I have already downloaded this file, so I'm gonna cancel this uh, download. And then I will go and open my VMware workstation. The first thing we need to do is to create a virtual machine. Go to the files menu and select new virtual machine right here, where it's the very first option that you have. And in here, it is very important that you pick the option called custom. Instead of going with the typical, we're gonna go with custom and we're gonna click next. And under the hardware compatibility, select the highest hardware compatibility you have on your VMware Workstation Pro. In this particular VMware Workstation uh, software, the highest version I have is the Workstation 16.2.x uh, and that's the one I will be picking. So select the highest version available to you. Then click next. And in here, it is very important that we choose the option that says I will install the operating system later. If you decided to select the install disk image file ISO and you select the ISO file, and if you click next, what happened is VMware will ask you for the Windows product key. Because we are installing the evaluation copy of the Windows Server 2022, we do not have a product key. So as a result, we need to select the I will install the operating system later option. So once you have select that option, click next. And under guest operating system, select Microsoft Windows, and if you look at the versions, you may notice uh, that you do not have the Windows Server 2022. So as of July 2022, the VMware Workstation Pro do not have the Windows Server uh, 2022 listed in the supported um, versions. That does not mean that you cannot install the Windows Server 2022. What you need to do in this situation is to pick the highest supported Windows Server option. So in here, that would be the Windows Server 2019. The reason for being the Windows Server 2019 virtual machine configuration is compatible with that of Windows Server 2022. So even though the Windows Server 2022 doesn't appear on this list, we can safely use the Windows Server 2019 for installation of Windows Server 2022 because it is compatible. However, when you try to install Windows Server 2022 on your Workstation uh, Pro, you may have an updated version where they have updated and enter that option. If, there, if that's the case, uh, in that situation, please make sure you select the Windows Server 2022 instead of Windows Server 2019 like I am doing right here. I'm doing this way because currently the VMware Workstation Pro is not updated to handle Windows Server 2022, but because of the cross compatibility of virtual machines between the Windows Server 2019 and 22, we can select the Windows Server 2019 as the version of the Windows operating system. We're gonna click next. And now you can name your virtual machine because I'm installing the Windows Server 2022, I'll be entering 2022. So it is gonna be Windows Server 2022. And for the location, 
you can select the location in which the virtual machine programs in other words it's a hard drives and all the files will be saved so i have a specific location that i would like to use uh, so that's the location that i'm going to use and if you want to select the location by browsing you can actually select browse and you can see go through your uh, you know folders and select the uh, the place where you want to uh, place your virtual machine keep in mind whatever the location that you pick that you have enough hard drive space to run the windows server 2022 so once you have done that we're going to click next and under firmware type we will select the uefi and we're going to click next for number of processors and the number of uh, co uh, cores per processor that all depending depend on your uh, host computer so i have intel i9 so i'm going to select two number of cores per processor and i'm going to leave the number of processors at uh, 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 well i will increase it to four it doesn't really matter as long as you don't uh, exhaust your um, resources uh, you need to uh, you know configure the processors depending on how much resources you have so i have intel i9 so i'm just gonna put uh, you know four uh you know uh, processors with um, two um uh cores per processor because i have enough uh, to do that whatever you do here please don't exhaust uh, your resources on your host machine because that will crash your virtual machine right so i have explained that on my previous video so just select something that actually makes sense to you then click next and for uh, the ram i'm gonna select eight gigabyte but then again this is all depending on how much ram you have so on my computer is a uh, we, this is an intel i9 uh, and i have lots of ram and i have lots of space like right here we have an intel i9 processor um clocked at 3.70 gigahertz and in terms of ram I have lots of RAM. I have 64 gigabyte of 3600 RAM, right? So because of that, I will be selecting eight gigabyte of RAM. So depending on your house machine, select a RAM that makes sense to you, but, but please do not select uh, the entire RAM uh, you, know, you have. So for example, I have 64 gigabyte of RAM. I would never get close to 64 gigabyte of RAM for a VM. We will never do that because if we do that, I will crash my host machine then we're going to click next and we're going to keep the network as nat and we're going to click next and we're going to leave the uh, controller uh, in the uh, default uh, option as well which is going to be this one logical slash sas and we're going to leave the virtual disk type nvme which is the recommended uh, default option and we're going to click next and we're going to select the uh, disk uh, type to create a new virtual disk because that's what we're going to do and we're going to click next and in here you have the option of storing uh, the virtual disk as a single file or splitting the virtual disk into multiple files uh, this is a preference that you can make depending on what your specific configuration is i will be splitting the disk into multiple files because that will enhance uh, the uh, you know uh, the function uh, the performance of my virtual machine but the difference is very minor so you, if you want to select the uh, store virtual disk as a single file that will be fine as well in terms of maximum disk, uh, disk space 60 gigabyte is more than enough uh, for evaluation purposes but then again depending on what you want to install on your windows server 2022 copy uh, you may increase your disk size so i'm going to leave it at 60 gigabyte i'm going to click next and here's the name of my uh the disk uh, the virtual disk or the vmware file and i'm going to uh, leave that as uh, default which is going to be windows server 2022.vmdk and i'm going to click next and finish so now you have a virtual machine on your left hand side that is specifically configured to run windows server 
I know I haven't selected the Windows Server 2022. I have selected Windows Server 2019 because that's the highest level of support it has, but it is specifically configured to run a Windows Server, right? So now next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach the ISO file. To do that, we're gonna select the virtual machine. We're gonna click edit virtual machine settings or right click on the virtual machine and select settings. So either you right click on the virtual machine, select setting, or you're gonna click edit virtual machine settings. Either one would get you here. Next, I'm gonna go to CD DVD, which is this option. And then I'm gonna select the option called use ISO image file. So that would be this one. Next, I'm gonna select browse. And I'm gonna go and find my ISO file. Remember the ISO file you have downloaded uh, from Microsoft website right here. So wherever you download it, you locate that ISO file and you select it and you click open. So now the ISO file is attached to this virtual machine. We're gonna select okay and power on this virtual machine. And it will ask you to click a press a button to boot from the CD. So make sure when it pop up, you press a button and that will make sure that it will boot from the CD. And it will ask you, you know, what uh, you need to select for your language. So for me, I will be using the English United States and the time gonna be United States format and the keyboard I have is the United States. But if you have something else, you can obviously pick from uh, this list. And then we're gonna click next. And I'm gonna select install now. And in here, you will have few options of your Windows Server 2022 evaluation copy that you can install. They include the Windows Server 2022 standard edition, the Windows Server 2022 standard desktop experience, the data center edition, and the data center desktop experience. The difference between the desktop experience version and the, uh, the, uh, the, the normal Windows Server 2022 is that one of them does not have the GUI. So the graphical user interface is just gonna have a terminal. So if you select, for example, Windows Server 2022 data center or Windows Server 2022 standard edition, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a uh, terminal uh, for your Windows Server instead of having a web, uh, like a, not web, sorry, uh, the general purpose, uh, familiar windows gui so i like to have the familiar windows gui with all the start buttons and everything instead of just having a a, a terminal so what i'm going to do i'm going to select windows server 2022 data center evaluation desktop experience and i'm going to click next you will be given the microsoft end use agreement uh, read that thoroughly and if you agree with that select I accept and then click next and Under which type of installation do you want to do because this is a brand new virtual machine? We're going to install we're going to select the option called custom custom install Microsoft server operating system only with the advanced option in here not the upgrade option because the upgrade option only works if you're upgrading from a currently running Windows Server. So we are not doing that. So this is a brand new virtual machine. We're gonna select custom and we're gonna select the hard drive that we have created and we're gonna select new and we're gonna use the maximum uh, hard drive space we can use. So in here it's gonna be 61,440 megabyte and we're gonna say apply. And it'll give you a warning saying that these, uh, you know, Windows will create the partition uh, system and then you're gonna say okay. And now you have the partitions that are created and we're gonna select the uh, primary one and then select go next. It'll take few minutes and it'll go through the installation process like any other Microsoft uh, operating systems. It just happened to be Windows Server 2022. So depending on how powerful your computer and the virtual machine uh, resource allocation, uh, this may take few minutes to, uh, you know, a little while, 
and you know once it get installed uh, you'll be greeted with the uh, setup process then it will ask you to restart your um, virtual machine you can click either restart here or it will automatically restart itself and you'll be end up with your familiar uh, Microsoft uh, setup process. So this is something that a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, basically create a password. And you're gonna click finish. And there you go. Now you have Windows Server 2022. So you can use your administrative password you just created and you are in so that's how you do it and then finally once you have installed your uh, you know the the windows server 2022 uh, what you need to do is you need to install the vmware um, uh, you know the vmware uh, tools so to install vmware tools uh, what you can do actually uh, you can simply look at the bottom of your screen and you will see uh, the option say I finish installing and you can still click that one and if you don't see that what you can do actually you can go in here and you can uh, go to uh, the VM uh, uh, menu at the top and select install VMware tools so either one will do the same thing so what it's going to do actually it's going to remove that ISO and enter the VMware tools ISO into your uh, drive like your CD drive so once you have that going so if it's not done there so we can go install VMware tools so it's gonna pop up VMware tools here right here see so in the before it wasn't there so what I had to do actually I had to go to VM uh, menu from here and select uh, install VMware tools now it says cancel because it's already mounted and once the VMware tools is mounted, double click on that one. And that will give you the option to install the VMware tools. I'm going to install the typical and I'm going to say, just going to say next, next. So there's nothing much to read up here. Uh, what VMware tools uh, is basically it is drivers for your VMware Workstation Pro so that it can work with the uh, machine that you have uh, installed and give you much better uh, screen resolutions for example. So that's what it's going to allow you to do and it will make sure that your mouse and keyboard everything works together nicely as well. So once you have finished installing the VMware tools on your new Windows Server 2022, what we're going to do, we're going to restart. So once you have restarted, you'll be greeted with the login screen again. Make sure that you don't have the stretch uh, tabs or any of these tabs uh, at the top for screen resolution is checked. Because if it is, then you won't have the proper screen resolution even with the VMware workstation tools have been installed. So once you have done that, you can simply log in. And now you have the Windows Server 2022 install and the VMware tools installed so that all the resolution and all the drivers works properly and I can show you it is Windows Server 2022 uh, by simply going in here and I can right click here and you can go to properties and under properties you can see the under edition it shows Windows Server 2022 data center evaluation edition so this is the one that we have installed and that's it so if you have any questions or concerns about anything that I have covered today, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. Until next time, good luck with your exams and everything and have a nice day. Bye.